Hello Kerbalots and welcome to another tutorial. This time it's landing on one of the easiest moons. On the, one of the easiest celestial bodies in Kerbal Space Program. And that's Minmas. Why is it easy? Well, it's got low gravity, so it's easy to land on. Two, it's the second closest moon or planetoid to Kerbin. And number three, it's made of ice cream. So all Kerbals will want to go there. Anyway, this is one of the easiest targets. It poses its own challenges compared to landing on the man. So it's an easy step in the right direction on learning how to land. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this tutorial, how to build a lander, how to get there, and how to land. And hopefully you can use those to land on the man. Anyway, let's get to it and let's get building. Okay, here we are in the VAB and the first thing you have to do is start from the end. First off, you want your Kerbal to return safely. You want somewhere to your Kerbal to land in anyway. So the first thing is to build the capsule with a parachute and a heat shield. Now, as usual, we want to have some science on there just in case you're in career mode or whatever. But it's always handy have. It's always nice to have those little messages that the Kerbal spit out to you when you do the science. Okay, do not forget this. I did on my one of my attempts or testings and I lost power, couldn't control him, couldn't get into orbit around Minmas and I slingshot out the current system. Okay, now we can go ahead and build the lander. Well, at least first off you have to take note that this is going to return you because you need enough fuel to return from Minmas. Now, Minmas has low gravity so that takes a lot less fuel. Oh, and by a note, we need about 7,500 meters per second ish for a, cur a mission to Minmas. Now let's go ahead and build a lander. All right, first things first, we're going to have three of these radial decouplers on here. And where I plan to do, say you still want science, get these science pods or as they're normally known as materials bays, three on there, just in case, you know, you can get science on the surface of Minmas up high and low minimus now add these tanks if you have problems adding the tanks hold down alt and you should be able to get snap them into place but there and don't forget the fuel lines and always select the outer tank to the inner tank so it feeds from the outer tank to the inner tank there's always arrows pointing on them if you're not sure so check and now because of the new aerodynamics don't forget the nose cones getting through the air right just simple things now um we need landing legs can't forget them always check make sure they don't that the bottom of the rocket doesn't poke out from under the land legs you don't want to be landing and blowing that rocket not able to return and some um, solar panels okay three solar panels on there because just in case the sun's not hitting the side of the capsule it's happened to me before Oh, and batteries. Do not forget the batteries. They'll hold more charge in your capsule if you're in the, on the dark side of Minmus, lose power, can't get into orbit. Well, that's terrible. Okay, so now we have that built, we want a, what you call a transfer stage. Now, we don't really need this, but this will give you the extra fuel for the mission. So you can make sure you have enough plenty just in case you mess up on the way. So pick those two tanks, I think it was the FL200 and 400, and an LV909 engine. That's sufficient because that's going to be used in space. Let's move him up because we need broom under it. Okay, so that's the transfer stage done. Huh? And now we need to build, well, our ascent stage. So decoupler as usual. And what you want is the LVT800 fuel tanks, FLT800 fuel tanks, sorry. Two of them will do. Same, similar I think to the one we've done with the MAN mission, if you ever watched that. An LVT-45 engine with thrust vectoring. Now here comes the magic build, part of this build. Get the radial decouplers, bit symmetry to two. From about 45 degree angle on one side. Now we'll go and get the FLT-800 fuel tanks. We're going to do the same setup as we've done with the center tanks. And now the rocket you're going to use is the LVT-30 engine. 
you don't want thrust vectoring because that will interfere with the center one trying to control the rocket. Now a little trick, hold on a part, hold alt and click on it and you'll copy those parts and any parts that's attached to it. This is handy for if you want to do any builds like this, like multiple staging or well, gush copy it apart. Anyway, what we're going to set up here is called asparagus staging. So connect fuel ducts like this from one t from two of the tanks to the next tank. And then the next tank across, you want it to connect to the center tank. Always make sure the iron rows are pointing to the tank opposite or the tank in the middle as such. Now do some staging. Correction. The first one we're feeding to the second tank. We want to stage first because once that's empty, we'll ditch it. The second tank will be empty. That uh, will be full, sorry. And then once that's empty, we'll ditch that. And then the center tanks will be full. That's called asparagus staging. It helps save weight and increases your delta V. Now, all this is going to be wobbling about, so don't forget your structural tape. Like so. And now for the bottom. Now, oh, clicking on the wrong parts. That's what sometimes I hate about this game. And then you clicked it. Control Z will undo that though. Little frustrations of this game. And they all normally happen in building, except for maneuver nodes, I suppose. In sometimes the maneuver nodes, they can glitch out. That's where I was having problems with this Minmus mission. I did try a first tutorial and it was a lot longer. Anyway, don't forget your nose cones for the aerodynamics in this game. Talking about aerodynamics, there's one thing I forgot in this game. Uh, was something someone recently pointed out that your center of drag, if it's higher than your center of mass of the rocket, it will most likely tip over unless you're heading directly oh yeah here's me showing you that if you hover over center tanks with when you've got four symmetry on it can flip to two symmetry if you hover over a two symmetry part that was another annoying thing okay so we put the winglets on there for extra stability and extra control and i suppose now is Oh yeah, structural enhancements. One of the tests, this was what they're about, was losing control. So click on the outer tanks and you can't do symmetry on this three because you've got four symmetry underneath and three symmetry on top. So I done the next best thing. I dragged it down to the center of rocket. A little bit further down. Not on the engine because I think you have difficulty then. And there we go. That is our Minmus rocket. All we really need to do now is add some launch enhancers and name the rocket, of course. Uh, what do I call it? I can't remember. Minmus lander. How original. What? <laughs> Okay, so that's it. We're going to add some launch stability enhancers to this now. Okay, and watch out for that symmetry mode. For some reason, it was putting it on radial for just for that single tank. So try again. Change symmetry modes and that pointing on the other side. Let's connect and have a look. Yes, that's fine. Good. As I said, the frustrations of building. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is check the staging. Make sure everything's going to fight at the same time. Check to see if the right radial tank's going to jettison and then the next stage. You can pick the rocket that's going to engage with the same decouple stage. It just makes it quicker. If you're trying to ascend, it's always best to do. And I think that's the stage when we leave Minmas. We take up a lane to come back to Kirby and parachute. Simples. And you can see we have 7,780 meters per second. Although I'm not entirely sure about this. The problem I found is that when you go into flight mode, it's giving you different delta V readings. 
So I thought I'll install this mod, Mech Jeb. Don't worry, I'm not using it to cheat in the game. And it's telling me I got 7,967 meters per second in a vacuum. What the hell is going on here? Which one's correct? I don't know, Captain. But we're gonna launch anywhere. Because I tested this craft and it works. So let's take Mech Jeb off there to so show that we're not cheating. And let's launch! Okay, here we are on the launch pad. I'm sorry I'm getting excited now because I always love missions in space. Anyway, launch! No countdown. No need. Okay, this is going to be simple. There are a couple of ways you can go to Minmas. I'm doing a fast forward now of the getting into orbit stage. Hopefully not too fast. Let me see what's happening. It's Paragus staging where two of the rockets in the bottom left on the fuel you can see is going to be quicker. I'm going to stage that. As soon as you stage that, if you use this design, it can become a little unstable because I think what is wrong here is that there's the drag of this rocket is higher than the weight of the rocket. The center of mass, sorry. The center of drag is higher than the center of mass. Which means you may have to keep your hands on the keys to keep control. Or a joystick if you use a joystick. Anyway, one thing I found helps with this is if you point the rocket to where you want it to go, and just tap the F key that quickly turns the SAS off and when you let go of the key it turns it back on which means it stabilizes and the autopilot seems to have better control rather than after you all use the keys to adjust. Anyway a nice little tip there if it works for you it may just be me with me and the controls. But anyway let's get up into orbit. Simple orbit insertion. I shouldn't have to be able to talk you through this. There, I've got an orbit tutorial if you want to know how. As it says just a little bit fiddly with the control of this rocket. And also I have to note that this rocket takes a little longer getting up in space because it has a slightly lower thrust to weight ratio in the last stage. But it's not too bad because we're high enough that that doesn't matter so much. And there we go. We're into our transfer stage. Don't worry, that's planned. Because there wasn't enough delta V in the bottom rocket in the sense stage. Anyway, don't bother about getting too high, not to 100 kilometer orbit. 80 kilometers will do fine. That leaves you between 80 to 70 kilometers so that you don't fall back into the atmosphere. The ascent profile I had shown you just now is perfect for this because it means you have to do less of a orbit insertion burn if you're not as I assume aggressive on the gravity turn you may need a lot more delta V to get into orbit but this is perfect okay so now for the first challenge on how to get to min mass Okay, so do you notice something about the orbit of Minmus? Something odd? By the way, I've already set Minmus as a target. You can see it's at an inclination. The orbit is not straight with ours. Now, if you go to these nodes, I'm going to create a maneuver node here. You have an ascending node which shows you the angle. So if you add the maneuver node, and now you want to use the purple markers. So let's adjust that up. You can see our orbit tilting, but it's going the wrong way. The angle is increasing. So play around with that, or if you use visuals, you can see which angle we're doing. Now you want to get that close to zero as possible. 0 0.1 is best, but that's perfect. Zero. Can't get any better than that. So let's go and burn that. Now while this manure node is burning, I would like to ask any of you, are you interested in the mathematics of this game? Do you want to know more? Let me know in the comments below if you do. Someone already has requested it, so I'll probably will do something. Okay, so our ascending node now is 0.1. That's, that's okay. That'll do for what we want for this transfer. Now we have to do a transfer. Now you can see I'm lined up, see where Minmusk approaches the horizon of curving, and create a node. It's not going to be perfect. Let's just hope we don't intercept the man. <laughs> that has happened to me on a couple of times especially on the return journey. okay so we got an encounter 637 all right this point guys you're going to want to fiddle fiddle with a maneuver note you can do several things here 
You can adjust your prograde and retrograde burns. That's the most common. If you're in line with the orbit of your target, that's easy enough to do. Prograde and retrograde. And you see 170 meters per second. I think will we choose that? Yes, I think we'll stick with that. It's close enough. We can always get closer and fiddle with the maneuver out to get a closer approach. Okay, so we're in a quick cutscene and we're thrusting our way to Minmus. Don't forget to burn half your burn before and after. And you see as well, we staged that transfer stage. Don't worry, there's enough fuel in the lander to get there to land, maybe even get to Man, and then return to Kirby. Okay, no, we're not going to go to Man, but we're going to go to Minmas, land, and that's all this tutorial is about, and returning safely. Okay, now we come to the end. Once you've got your encounter, you can see we're almost there, just slight burns. You can kill your maneuver node to get a better view, if you want, as I have. And there's that glitching I was telling you about, 37 kilometers high. That is perfect because you will not hit any of the mountains. The mountains on Minmus are five kilometers high, I think. And you see here, to get rid of that glitching, I had to time warp. First time I time warped, it didn't get the encounter. Second time I did time warp, I got the encounter. I'm not sure if you get the encounter if it's not shown on the map, but I'm not gonna go out of time warp because this glitching could be the mods I've installed. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to go with this at the moment. So if you have that problem, try time warp until you get your encounter stuck on the screen. And it only happens with Minmus. Never had any problems with Mun. So when we're coming in for an approach. Let's switch to rocket view. Okay, so now we switch to the sphere of influence of Minmus. Okay, let's circleize our orbit. Now, one thing you can do, double click on the moon or planetoid, and it'll be your focus of your camera. It makes it easy to do things like this, if, especially if you're further out. Right, let's burn retrograde to circleize our orbit. That's good enough. You don't have to be perfect for this. You're going to get into a rough orbit and into a rough landing. No, not a rough landing, but we're going to get a landing. Anyway, let's go and burn this. Okay, another cutscene. Okay, I'm gonna do this thrusting like I did with the transfer orbit in map view. I know I like, I enjoy watching the rockets as they burn their fuel. And by the way, I'm flying this manual just with SS on and I'm not using the maneuver node marker uh, button to point at the maneuver node. Cause so I feel it's a little cheaty. I feel like you have to be able to do your own orbits and everything. Okay, we got into an orbit. I didn't do the moon maneuver no precisely, just so we can get into orbit. Okay, I think I was messing around with the service mode. See, we're orbiting in the direction that Minmus is orbiting it. And the good reason for that is we want to land. But once we come close to the surface, Minmus surface is gonna rotate under us as well. So say like I'm adding a maneuver note here. Oh, too much. I, we want to land on the flat places as well on Minmus. They're at sea level, so you can use the height marker in the rocket mode, in flight mode, to use to navigate yourself to the surface. And now if we morph to maneuver node, I can show you what I mean about the point to maneuver node. We warp to the maneuver node. You can see that the surface is rotating under us. And we're no longer going to land in the area I suggested. Okay, so let's go and move this maneuver node a bit. What you want to do at this point, I only move fast forward to there so we can get closer, is to overshoot the landing point. Right, I'm going to suggest we're going to land over there with that maneuver. But we're going to burn our fuel when we come down. And Minmus is going to rotate under us, so we're not going to land in that spot. But once we burn the fuel, we hopefully we'll land in the middle of those flats there. Okay, so now go ahead and burn that maneuver node. Watch your map view if you want. I fast forward time because that's going to be a simple burn for anyone. 
And don't forget to engage your gears. Rotate your craft if you want to, to make it easier to maneuver and control. So you can control visually and use an half pull. And fast forward time until you get to about 10 kilometers. Now I suggest as a guideline, it's not fixed in stone. It's, you don't have to do it. Point retrograde while you're coming down and burn at 10 kilometers. Did you speed to 100 meters per second, say? And that, I've always find it's good. Keep an eye on map view to see where you're going to land. Make sure you're not going to land in mountainous areas where you're probably going to tip over. Again, next thing I want you to do is come down to 5 kilometers and perhaps reduce the speed to about, let's say, 50 meters per second. The idea is here, you're reducing your speed, you're, so you're not going to come down too quickly. You're also reducing your arc so you're not going to land on that little hill there. Now you should be traveling, you should be accelerating towards the surface and what you want to do is reduce your speed to zero so you're coming straight down. Now you see that little retrograde marker on the nav ball. Now if you thrust on one side of that you'll be pushing it in one way. See, like we're doing here, with breath thrusting here, and it's pushing that retrograde marker up. And what I suggest you do is, once you reduce your speed quite low, is try to get that needle to the center. And at the moment, I'm just reducing our speed to zero. Because if that retrograde marker is not at center, that means you're going to be going sideways when you come into the surface. Now it's not so, you're much more forgiving on Mimnus because of the low gravity, but it's not so much on the man, which I've had plenty of crashes on. You can see we're chasing it about a bit. Let's get it slightly to the center. It's possible. And we're about center, so we're coming down at 10 meters per second. Okay, that's good. Okay, so a little fast forward in our video to come down and when we're about, say, I don't know, about just a little over 500 meters above surface, we can start throttling. Now, this is the important part. You're going to want to have that slight control. You see, I'm reducing our speed, but very slowly. And what you want to do is find that balance where you're hardly reducing your speed. At the moment, I'm just reducing the bulk of our speed. I mean, throttle down, so we're going reducing our speed very slowly. So you've got a very gentle burn coming down. You no need to hard burns. You're coming down really hard, burn really hard, so you go back up, and it gives that you have enough time coming down to burn again and land properly. This is the point where most people, including me, I I put my hands up first, I panic burn when I come to the surface. Coming down too fast, make sure your speed by here is under 5 meters per second, or around that. Kill your throttle once you come to the surface, a little bounce on Minmus, that's fine. But we have landed, ladies and gentlemen, the Kerbals have landed on Minmus. Now to do an EVA. Okay, now on Minmus, as I said, it is such low gravity. You can engage your Kerbal's jetpack, and you can use that. That's why I haven't put a ladder on this one. You can use a jetpack on the man, yes. But funny thing with Minmus, the gravity is so low, you can you get your Kerbal into orbit around Minmus. I don't think you can land after that, though. But you can rendezvous with a spacecraft in orbit around Minmus. Say you want to do his rescue mission. You don't have to land it. You can get Kerbal up there. I had an EVA report there saying you take a taste of Minmus and it doesn't taste like ice cream. Of course it doesn't, you idiot. It's the moon, not a big ball of ice cream. <laughs> uh, anyway, plant flag and Minmus landing. And I think, or if I remember, yes, we got our dessert. And how do you spell dessert? Is it one S or two S's? Yes, it's two S's, I think. That looks about right. I hope it's right, didn't it? I'm terrible with spelling. 
with, especially with this autocorrect for everything I use for my phone. Anyway, oh, there's Kirby in the background there. Let's take a screenshot. Ooh, Jebediah says. Close your mouth, we're taking a picture. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Maneuvering your Kerbal around Minus is easy. Walking, you have to walk slow. You can't use the shift key to run. But getting around using the jetpack is easy. You can use him to go and do EVA reports around different biomes quite easily. But right now, I want to show you how to return. Oh, press F to grab. Yeah, come on, F again. And B to board. Okay, so returning from... Well, min mass. Okay, first thing you have to do is get it to orbit. Same thing. You have our orbit speed, which would travel at 9.3 meters per second. We can use that. And as always, go on the 90 degree mark. So we're traveling right across the, off the, across the surface. We're traveling in the same direction that the surface of min mass is rotating. So let's go ahead. And I think everything's in order. So let's launch. Just thrust up. And you see, point in your in the 90 degree vector. Go straight to 45, no need for a small changeover. Wait until you get above 10 kilometers. Kill your thrust, easy enough to do. And now these outer tanks, say you collected the science and everything. And checking the tanks, they should be empty, so you can space fire, jet us on them. Now it'll crash to the surface of Mimas, hopefully, and be erased from history. Well, perhaps some archaeologists will find them and discover the civilizations that left Kirby millions of years ago. Find them in the ice. Okay, so let's get a simple orbit. Don't, again, don't be too particular with this. It's nothing. You know, just getting into orbit. A low orbit is good because you can use the Allbirth effect, where you, because you're traveling at high speeds, a lower orbit. That you can use that higher speeds to addition as additional speed to your, for your return trajectory. Anyway, go ahead and burn this. How, how quick long is this burn? Eight second burn. Right. Okay, that's good enough orbit. Don't be too particular with this burn. Now, how do you get back from Minmus to Kirby? Well, a little handy tip is we're orbiting around Kirby in that direction. And you want to reduce your speed, your orbit around Kirby. So you want to thrust in that way. So let's try and make a maneuver note here. It's a little experiment to show you. Get out of Minmus's gravity. And you see, if we carry on thrusting this way, we'll reduce our speed in relation to Kirby and get down. Ooh, and then encounter there. Yes, be careful of that. And you see, when we're getting high orbit by here in our app apsis, we don't want that. So we turn the maneuver node around this way. I know this from experience. You see, we're reducing our app apsis height. And we're getting closer to Kirby as well. So let's again. More pro grade, please. And I suggest you get that down to about, say, 20 kilometers. And that is perfect because before you used to return at 30 kilometers, and that used to stop you and reduced your. The atmosphere used to reduce your orbit so you'd return to Skyrim safely, but with the new aerodynamics you have to reduce it to about 20 kilometers. Found that best. Anyway, let's go burn this and return. Okay, this is going to be a quick 9 second burn. I have to, I also have to note here that precision can be the key. Now we've slightly burnt too much because we're gonna enter the atmosphere and hit the surface of Kirby. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. 
it may or may not be but let's burn retrograde let's get over there but slightly too far that may not be enough for us to return safely so burn prograde here and under 20 kilometers so that's perfect anyway this is Kerbal Space Program, a mission to Minmas. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. If you thought that I could improve it, let me know in the comments below. So, again, hit that like button. If you want more of these videos, then subscribe. And did I say hit that like button? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Anyway, I'll let you watch the return journey. And I'll see you next time. Trust me, I'm an engineer.